Hello YouTube. Um, so today I'm going to be making a video about a Russian uh, cast steel ASO or anvil shaped object. Uh, so here's a general overview of what it looks like. It's made to look sort of like a London pattern but there's a few points that I'd like to or there's a few key features that I'd like to point out that mean that this isn't necessarily a good anvil but it's great to start off with. Um, first thing I'd like to focus on is the Hardy and Pritchell holes. Now most Hardy holes are about uh, are about an inch, three quarters of an inch. This this is a bit smaller and it's too small to fit standard size Hardy tools. Um, Pritchell hole it's a good size, great for punching nails, uh, heading nails, punching holes. But if you look for, but this is great to get you off the ground, but if you look for a decent anvil, um, try making sure that there's standard size hardy holes so that you can fit standard hardy tools into there. Now we'll focus on the face. This face hasn't been hard, and most anvils have a tool steel face. This is made to look like there's a face on it, but they just make a different um, shape in the mold. But this is all just one solid piece. I'd say pretty much the same carbon and alloying content throughout, but if you get one of these, first thing you want to do is grind the face and polish it because there's all sorts of grooves running up and down this and they will make imprints on your work. And another thing is after you're done with that you need to harden it and I'll actually make a video on doing that later. But you need to harden this because this hasn't been hardened and this um, and if it hasn't been hardened it will dent when you hit it with a hammer which happened while I was doing a rebound test and when I hit while trying to make a nail. Um, the next feature I want to focus on is the horn. This is made to look like a functional horn, but it's really not very good. A real horn is in a cone shape. A real cone shape. This is shaped more like a duck bill. It's really not meant f to do any actual bending or, draw or drawing out. Um, you want to go at this with an angle grinder and grind this until it's in the proper cone ah, excuse me the proper cone shape next is you can actually see the line where it's been cast this really doesn't have much of an impact on it but if they ever say that it's forged or drop forged if you see this line here that means it hasn't been forged that means it was cast this line is where two pieces of the mold called the cope and the drag met. The cope is the top half and the drag is the bottom. Where they meet, there's usually a line where the liquid steel flowed out into the space between them. And it's usually, usually they do a good job machining it off. He actually did a decent job. As you can see, there's no line on the face, horn, or step. However, you can also see the whole, the line along here on the bottom. Um, next key feature is the weight. Now, this is light. This is about 44 pounds, and so it's not that heavy. You want to find a heavy anvil for your home shop. If you're traveling, a lighter anvil is fine, but you want to have at least one really heavy anvil that you can't pick up easily that um, won't move around when you're hammering it. And the next point is the rebound test. I don't have a hammer with me at the moment. I'll make another video on that later. One last thing you need to do when dressing this up is dressing up the edges. The edges here are um, 
The edges here are square. What you want to do is angle grind them so that they're rounded all along here except for actually from about where the face meets the heel and back. So all along the heel you want sharp corners so that you can make some good edges or you could make a hardy for that but generally you want to round off these edges here. The step you don't want to harden, this is sometimes used for upsetting. You hear the dogs barking. You might want to harden the top of the horn, but that would be difficult to do without hardening the step. So, or you could harden the entire horn, but I wouldn't recommend that. So that's my uh, that's my video for now, and now I'll go to the long task of uploading it.